Welcome to the course on reconnaissance which is a information gathering process and is a part of ethical hacking phase 1 of ethical hacking The topics that will be covered under this particular course includes introduction to reconnaissance related concept and ideas and as the course is primarily designed for information collection here are the topics that will be covered under this course and they are personal information collection organizational information collection network information collection technological information collection and finally followed by takeaway points introduction to reconnaissance basically reconnaissance is one of the phases of ethical hacking or hacking and hence it is very important to have at least a glimpse at the various phases of ethical hacking there are five phases of hacking they have to be followed in sequence as the phases are interdependent hence none of the phases can be bypassed this eventually became standard and followed worldwide however people do further divide them in more phases let us have a look at these phases the first one being reconnaissance which is of course our topic second one being scanning third one being gaining access fourth one is maintaining access and the fifth one being clearing the tracks let us see what is reconnaissance the definition says it's a military observation of a region to locate an enemy or as certain strategic features the attackers typically assess the situation from the outside in in order to identify both target and the tactics for the attack typical feature includes determining the network range identifying active machines discover open ports and access points fingerprinting the operating system uncover services on ports and map the network information collection important point is who does that primarily information collection is done by two kind of people one is cyber criminals and the other one being professionals trying to protect information leakage this information can be collected by either individuals groups or syndicate let us see who all collect the information ethical hackers pen testers red teams blue teams hackers crackers investigators and competitors collect information but why there are different reasons to collect information about an individual or an organization in addition to the mentioned reasons here the information can also be gathered for spying or non destructive purposes such as marketing as a matter of fact many of the information gathering tools that are commercially available are meant for marketing and sales purpose let us see why we need to collect the information due to curiosity to access security posture find technology used by the companies find footprints of an organization and individual find vulnerabilities associated to the companies creating a threat profile and of course to close the loopholes information collection but which one which information need to be collected information could be personal information organizational information location information network information and technology used information as we move ahead in this course we will have a look at each and every part of this information